Do you know how to use file upload when developing a backend Java program? And sometimes we have to build a form that we have to utilize file upload fields and also normal form fields. So in this video, we are going to see how we can mix file fields and normal form fields in the same form submission and how to handle its data when the server receives this content. So what you have in this project? Basically, we can start to, to see the user interface. When we want to utilize file inputs, that's the HTML component for displaying the, the file upload content. That is a component that looks like, looks like this one, where we can pick a file from our disk. We have to use the file input type. However, sometimes, as this example, we want to have some other kind of input. For user input, a password, some kind of personal information. So we can build a form in our user interface containing files and normal input fields. However, when we want to, to work with file inputs, we have to, we must to define that the ink type of our form is multipart. Multiple part is necessary because the um, content of the file will be submitted as it is binary without encoding and it will be sent in a different way to the server as a normal form submission. For this purpose, we need to adapt the way our backend will receive that. So this form, when it's going to be submitted, this request you're going to one specific endpoint. In this case, programmed with a servlet that is programmed here. So when it enters in the do post method, it's going to handle this request. However, for be able to handle this request, we need to use one specific library. That is the Apache Commons file upload. You can have that without difficult using, for instance, one, one order loading the jar directly from web, or you can configure your own XML file as we have here. So using this dependency, you are going to be able to receive this library to your project. It's a very standard library for this purpose when you want to have file uploads in your Java application. Okay, returning to our backend program, how it will work. Before we execute the code, I will show you what are the main important topics for this method. Basically, we have here as any submission to the server, the request and the response object. But the request object has to be differently interpreted. So we have to use the pass request method. And then we are going to take this request and serialize that in several items of this form. Then what we can do, we can iterate to each of its items. What are the items? Items will be our inputs from the interface. Outputs, it could be radio, checkbox, text, text area, select, and also files. But you have to differentiate when it's a normal standard form field from when it is a file field. So inside of this iteration, every input will come here inside and we can identify it's a form field. What is a form field? Everything except files. So if it's a form field, we can process that in a standard way. We can get the input the input uh, field, field name, the name of the input tag, and its content with the getString method. So in this case, get field name and get string are going to, in our con concrete example, is going to take the field name and the value, the to string. Okay, here it's missing a, uh, okay, this quotes, right? And now, we can return to here so we know how to retrieve the field name and its content. And if it's not a form field, in case it's fail, so it's a file. Then we can take the field name at the same, the, the file name looks what interesting. We can get the file name that will, in our example, correspond. If I select here, my private key will be this. 
file name, we can, we can take that, and we can also, now we can get, get based in the file name, we can read the file content and, and set that in a, in a byte array. So um, here is how it's going to be processed. So now let's see how it's going to be executed. We have then our front end. I'm going to select a file and we are going to submit this file. Submit that. Let's track how the code will behave. It now enter in our blue post. We are debugging here and we have stopped in this line. So it's going to, we have this request object and we are going to pass that. Okay. It was passed. So now we have several items in this, in this list. And we are going to iterate over them using the iterator. We are just going to initiate each of our, um, our um, fields. We have two fields in the user interface, the password and the private key content from the file. That's a byte array. And let's verify item by item. So we can advance in our code, initialization. And now we to iterate. How many items are you going to iterate? Two. One for password, other for file. So the first one we have assigned here to this F item. So I know in this case we are going we are talking about the file input because it's it has here it's not a form field, it's false. So it will enter in this if. Okay. So here we got the file name, that's the private key. We can continue with the reading of data content. Now if it's get method looks what we're going to have. We have here our byte array that's filled with the, the content that is within the file. So our file content is here. And then we write that in our back end. We take the file from the user front end, from the user computer, and write that here in our server. So we have received the, the, the file. And OK, we have processed the file we have just received. But we have a second field. We have a normal form field. So let's see how it will behave now. The next item is here. And now it's a form field. Yes, it's a form field. It's a normal form field with name password. So we go to the second part of the code for we process regular fields. We can get the field name. That will be the password. And we can get the field value now. That's the, the value user ha has inputted in the interface. It's here. And, and the file and the field name is here, password, everything fine. Okay, to be equals to password, it will assign the password value to our, our variable. And here we have the example that has processed a file inputs and normal inputs in the same form submission. And here we have no more input in our interface. This while will fail and the code has ended. So hope you have enjoyed this video. This code of demonstration is available to be downloaded. There is a link below in the video description. And thank you for watching.